Residents in Spicewood are out today trying to rebuild despite these new dangers we're facing. Fire ripped through 6,400 acres there, destroying 44 homes. FEMA and the Red Cross have been out trying to help victims get back on their feet. Jacqueline Ingles has more on the rebuilding effort. Over the past few weeks, we have seen how destructive fires can be. Out here in Spicewood, 6,400 acres went up in flames, taking out dozens of homes. I'm actually standing where a single family home used to be. The only thing left of it are wood chips and the walkway to the family's front door. The Cazales family is working in triple digit temperatures and amid an extreme fire danger warning to get rid of charred brush and trees left behind by flames. A wildfire ravaged their property three weeks ago, destroying their home and garage. 44 other residents also lost their homes in that fire. The only personal items the Cazales family has left are in this wheelbarrow. Their cat is still missing, and the family is living in a rental home. Well, you know, you never know what you have until you lose it. You take it for granted coming home every day and opening your front door and being able to sit down in your living room and just kick back and relax and watch TV. The water well on the family's property is not working, meaning if a fire does spark up, they have nothing to put it out with. Other neighbors, however, do have water and have set up kiddie pools full of it to throw on any flames if they see them. Nicholas went on to tell me that the family isn't worried about another fire breaking out today because they've already lost everything. He does, however, want to warn people who live in brushy areas who haven't lost their house that they need to heed warnings and to remember that even the littlest thing, like throwing a cigarette butt out your car window, can spark a fire. In Spicewood, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN News.